G'day y'all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at Pear OS. Uh, requested by a viewer after my cute fish video, somebody said, have you seen Pear OS? Well, I've run Pear OS in the past. It seems to have changed quite a fair bit since I've run it. Now, I can't find a lot of information on the website in regards to what it's based on and everything, but I have installed them on VirtualBox and we'll run through that. Uh, on the installs and yes I say installs because I've done all of them so I wanted to check them all out so we've got the versions here um, we got this one here the old pair OS's I was trying to think of which one I've tried in the past I think it might be six or eight could be six I'm not sure I could have even tried four way back in the day um, but there these ones here says all these versions are out of support so they're the older versions so the newer ones are these ones here now you've got Monterey You've got Thick Sir. Now Catalina um, does not do anything. As you can see, it's got a cross through it. I don't know if that's a work in progress or whether it's out of date now, I don't know. And then you've got Snow Mojave, that one there. Uh, that just goes to the download page. So I've downloaded these three, Monterey, Thick Sir and Snow Mojave. Um, it's got a link to how to install, some videos there laptops looks like the page you're trying to access hasn't been finished yet so they're still working on that by the looks of it other services here pair cloud pair music pair discord server photo editor url url shortener and pair wallet coming soon coming soon they're all coming soon looks like their discord is already up and running you got contact support and donate Okay, so that is the Pear OS website. Not really a lot to see at the moment. Thought there might have been more than that. So let's run through the installs real quick. So this is the Monterey install, which is um, this one here, Monterey. So we'll just full screen that and we'll go through. I'm just gonna do some commentary on this. So it's in VirtualBox. So that's the uh, boot menu there. quite a few options there in the boot menu. So let's move forward and check the install out. Boot splash screen, takes you into a live desktop. Very um, Mac-ish, I must say. So this one is, the Monterey is based on KDE Neon. So that's another thing, it doesn't really tell you on the websites uh, what they're based on, unless I've missed something there. It's Perth, Australia. Um, we'll just do an erase disk there. Just do a very simple install. My usual um, things there. And that's pretty much it for the install. So then we uh, log into the new desktop and that is the login screen for Monterey. You can pretty much tell that's KDE looking at that. So we're logging in. And then what I'll do is have a quick look at the apt sources.list, which is those ones there. Canonical proprietary drivers, and then you've got other software here. So there's a list of the sources there if you wanted to know what was in there. So what I'll do here is update the system, then do an upgrade, and then um, this one here, not sure, see the following packages were automatically installed and are no longer required. That one went through okay. A couple of them had an error with that, that one there. So that's the Monterey install. Now we'll have a quick look at the Thixer install. Some similarities there to the previous Monterey one. That's the boot screen. That's the Thixer. So we'll install that. Go through the usual. It's a fairly simple install. Now this one here I had install alongside replace a partition because I have already had it installed. Just wanted to install it again to show you the install. So we're just doing a straight out erase disk and the usual uh, name and computer name. So that's the install. So that's all done and we'll boot into the freshly installed desktop like so. Check out the sources.list. It's uh, the sources.list there and then you've got the other software Got some KDE Neon there, Papyrus, this Gumbus thing again. Gumbus, I don't know what it's called. Then we'll do an update. 
and then an upgrade. So they're all fully up to date. So this one here, um, let's see. Um, the following packages have unmet dependencies, Gumbus 3, depends, Gumbus 3, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just did a, so it was recommended to do a fix, sudo apt dash dash fix dash broken space install. And that seemed to sort it out. So we'll just check that out real quick. And yes, seemed to fix that up and no errors at all after that, I'm pretty sure. And there we go. So that was the Thixer install. And then we've got the then we've got the Snow Mojave install. So let's check that out. Based on Kubuntu, this one, not KDE Neon. So into the live desktop we go. Then I'll do a quick install. Normal install, install third party software, guided use entire disk. And that's install started. And then it asks you to do that after you've done that is to install your time zone and, and name and things. So that's that. And that's done. Restart now. And then we'll go to the login screen. And that one was an auto login, which I didn't realize to be honest. Go to uh, sources.list. There we go, sources.list. Um, a lot of them are uh, commented out anyway. And then we'll do an update. So full upgrade there in the uh, Muon package manager. And did that, restart as required. And there we are in the desktop. So that's the install of all three. Just a very quick run through. Very much all very similar installs. The installer slightly differs, I've noticed, on all three, which is interesting. I think um, that must have been a Kubuntu installer, I think. No, I'm pretty sure they're all calamaris. Yes, I'm pretty sure the Thixer and the Monterey were calamaris, and the Snow Mojave, I think, was an Ubuntu installer. So let's check these distros out. So here we are on the Thixer at the login screen. Can only hope my sound stays okay because my sound went all funny last time running VirtualBox. So they all seem to be based on KDE and they all have different themed desktops by the looks of it. So we've got a launch pad here. So let's just check what it's got in here. So that's the second page. Got a theme switcher here, that's interesting. Let's check that out. Light, dark, auto, software updater, system settings, system information. So there's your system information there. Software and updates, Pair TV. That wasn't working on live des desktop and it doesn't appear to be working on the installed desktop either. Not sure if that's a VirtualBox thing. Now this one here is files. Can only assume that that's um, GNOME files. About files, yep, that's GNOME files on a KDE desktop, fair enough. They've got Kvantum Manager, Pair OS Store. Um, what is that? So that's the GNOME store. Store still um, loading. Not sure what this is. Peary, Spectacle, Software Update, Software and Updates. So that's all Ubuntu based stuff there. Okay, so there's the software store. About Pear Store. Pear Store 3.36.1. Software is up to date. Installed, Explore and your buttons are on the left hand side of the window. You've got a downloads here. So you've got a downloads folder that just shows anything in downloads, interesting. Sieve editor, I'm not sure what that is. K sieve editor. Um, have we got an about, help and about, oops, not KDE, about, K okay. sieve editor. Not sure, haven't heard of that one before. Uh, Peary, I wanna know what that is. If I can figure out, what can I help you with? A <laughs> Peary, so it's a Siri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, <clears throat> so we have a calendar here. Bit hard to see. Um, what's this one here? Um, notifications, sliding in and out. Internet, microphone, battery and brightness. Well, I'm on, I'm on VirtualBox, so that shouldn't even be showing up, I would have thought. It's only for laptops, sound. Um, you got sound adjustments here and a link to quick settings, to sound settings. And this thing here, I'm not quite sure 
what this is. Oh, okay. So battery, um, do not disturb, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode. What's that shut down? That's your shut down. And that just closes that window. Okay. And it looks to me like we've got global menus. Well, I thought we did. Um, no, no global menus for GNOME software because that's got the client side decorations. Would that be right? Um, let's try Firefox and see if the global menus are working for that. I don't know, it's got this thing up here, but when you close something, the global menus are back there again. They don't do anything. You've got this menu here, Force Quit, App Store. So this Force Quit here, um, if you Force Quit, and let me show you something, this is what I did. <laughs> this is what I did on the um, live desktop, I think. I hit that, I clicked that, and now if you click on something, it'll close it. Now what I did was I, I clicked on this menu <laughs> and it killed the menu and I couldn't shut the system down. <laughs> Uh, so you've got to be careful what you're doing with that. Because <laughs> you've got your, your log out. I mean, you can log out. I just closed it with the VirtualBox tools. But I mean, um, you'd have to probably somehow uh, shut down in a console if that's the case. You've got this Info Center here. So uh, that's the same as the other one that we looked at. So you've got a global menu there. So some things have a global menu, some things don't. We've got K-Mail. A lot of people like K-Mail. It's not my cup of tea, to be honest. Pair Tunes. Okay, and do we have an about for that? That's Rhythm Box. Okay. Maps. Pair Message. Let's check that out. What is that? Empathy Accounts. Skip that. Close. All right, you need to set up an account to see contacts here. So do they have online accounts in here? That's another question. Um, online accounts. Oh, there we go. Add new account. So what's that? You've got open desktop, own cloud, next cloud, and Google. Right. You've got the GNOME to-do list. I think that's the GNOME to-do. Yep, that's the GNOME to-do list. You've got web, which is probably epiphany, I would think. And I have to think global menus would work with that. No? Okay. About web, web 3.36.4, VLC media player, USB utility. Okay, and what is that? Info about disk utility. All right, so let's shut that down. That was, um, so that was uh, thick, sir. So now we'll have a quick look at uh, Snow Mojave and see what that looks like. It's got the traditional um, KDE login screen. It's got a read me here. I don't know if um, Thick Sir had a read me or not. There are a few small bugs in this distro, like the left panel of finder does not work. You can fix this by right click on each item, edit and replace. Home pair downloads with tilde downloads. Okay, what have we got here? Finder, <laughs> finder. Um, what is this? Help and about, it's Dolphin. So they're using the traditional KDE Dolphin. Now the global menus appear to be working here. Launchpad, App Store. So Snow Mojave is using um, Discover for their App Store. Um, you've got, uh, well this one's not Peary, this one is Pafari. <laughs> okay, so um, everything's um, got a P in front of it to match certain things. All right, so that's there. What are we using here? What is it? That's GNOME Web, About Web, 3.36.4, okay. Which is Epiphany, is it? I think it was Epiphany. You also got Firefox here. Contacts, Calendar, USB Utility again. Pair Extension Installer, what is that? I'm not quite sure what the Extension Installer is. Maps, Gwen View, KCalc, Info Center. Pair OS Snow, Mojave, what's this one? Muon Package Manager as well as Discover. So they've got Muon and Discover. NVIDIA, I didn't realize they had NVIDIA in there. Kate, KDE System Settings, yep. And they've also got Rhythmbox, Integrated Development Environment, Text, Pair Extension Editor. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure what that is. Never heard of that before. No, I don't want to save that. Uh, we got calendar, typical KDE things up here. No batteries available, let's pick that up. Bluetooth, uh, volume, applications, devices, configure volume, okay. What's this one here? Networks and network uh, usage, okay. Um, so launcher, let's see if there's anything else we've missed here. KTorrent, Latte, LibreOffice, KDE Partition Manager, Elisa for music, document viewer, Pulse Audio Volume Control, Thunderbird Mail instead of, so they're using Thunderbird, not Kmail. That's, I think Thunderbird's a good choice. From my opinion, I like Thunderbird anyway. And you've got Spectacle, um, Scan Light, uh, System Settings. Okay, we've looked at that already pretty much. All right, so that was um, Snow Mojave, Pair OS Snow Mojave. Quick look at that one and Let's shut that down and we'll have a look at the last one, Monterey. So let's check out that distro. So here we are at the login screen of PairOS Monterey. And this is PairOS Monterey installed on VirtualBox. Um, that too has Peary um, software and update, soft, software update, Pair TV. Now that doesn't appear to work either. Got your calendar, the usual um, notifications, internet, battery and brightness, volume, and this little uh, center here. Menu, the, the system menu pretty much. App Store, so they've got an App Store. What's this one? Files, so this one's using GNOME Files, 3.36.3. They're also using Kmail in here, Kvanta Manager, Peary as well. P message, theme switcher, light and dark auto, VLC, web, USB utility, G Potter. I don't know what that is. Your podcast list is empty. Okay. So they've got the pair store. So Snow Mojave seems to be the different one of them both because that's based on KDE Neon using most of the KDE things except for Thunderbird, I believe. Um, when you're doing these distros, these three, um, you can just get lost because I had to I had to stop my video because I was doing a second look at Thick Sur. <laughs> I forgot which one I was looking at. They're all so very similar. And that is the Pair OS Store. About Pair OS Store 3.36.1. So it's the GNOME Store. Also, it's got a downloads thing here. So there's not a lot else to see because it's um, very much the same as Monterey, I think it was. Info Center, Monterey. Let's just try Theme Switcher very quickly. Let's try Dark. Well, there's Dark. Let's have a look at the files. And that's on Dark Mode, so that's not too bad. Let's have a look at Downloads. Let's just put um, a, a folder in there test and that shows up there so click on that double click on that so you can see what's inside of it by double clicking on it um, or can you yeah and then you can go back seems a bit slow to respond there we go okay that's interesting that one so the pair TV doesn't work on any of them so that must be like a work in progress or something like that and that was Monterey. Not much else to see if you've looked at the Thixer because they they seem to be uh, very similar to each other, except for I think what varies is the theme itself and the colors. Yeah, so that was a, a look at um, these three distros. Now I didn't go too far in depth with these. Um, they seem to be all very similar. What changes a little bit? These two here seem to be very much the same. This one here seems to be a little bit different to them both. This one here is using, I think it was Kubuntu. These two seem to be based more on KDE Neon, I believe. Um, this one had a different, uh, Snow Mojave had a different installer to these two. They both use Calamari's. That was using the Kubuntu installer, I believe it was. 
and they slightly differed. Uh, this uh, this one was using the a lot of the KDE uh, tools out of the box, whereas these ones were using GNOME files and also GNOME software, these two, whereas this one was uh, using the Muon and Discover. So obviously it's trying to give you a very strong feeling of using Mac OS, uh, hence the names. <laughs> but in a Linux version. So some people do like that sort of thing. Um, myself, I'm not really into Mac OS theming, to be honest. I think Linux has a lot of offerings in the theming side of things. But some people might like the way that works with the dock and, and all that sort of thing. Um, they've put in a lot of effort, I must say, um, especially with the icons and, and the looks um, and, and the, the amount of tweaking they've done to the KDE desktop itself. So they've gone, to, um, they've put in a pretty huge effort towards that and looks quite nice. Um, this is just in VirtualBox. I don't know how f um, functional it is um, on real hardware, not sure. Cannot speak on that. But um, yeah, somebody just asked me to take a look at this, so I thought I'd uh, run through it real quick and just check it out. And it's very easy to get lost in these distros. They're very much the same. Now, I don't know if this is coming soon or it's or it was originally there and it's not being used. The Catalina, I don't know, but definitely nothing works with that one. There's no uh, links or anything. They're broken or they're not activated yet, something like that. That was Pear OS. Um, it's advanced a lot since I last used it because um, it was just one desktop the last time I used it, but now they've got many different choices. So that was a quick look at Pear OS and the slight differences between, or the slight variations between the three available for download. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting and informative, and thanks for watching.